is clear that Dare Rizet remains divided over this issue, and while a solution is still out of reach for all parties involved, the allegations of impropriety are numerous against the chief of the volunteer fire department and continue to be the talk of the town. Today, this peaceful town has not one, but two volunteer fire departments. The fire department headed by Jimmy Wilmoth was evicted from city property following a lengthy battle with the city. According to documents provided by the city, he refused to establish a contractual relationship with the city that is typical and customary in the state of Texas. Questions and attempts to negotiate a legal contract were stonewalled. Soon we found apparent misappropriation of public funds by department officers. Then there's the agreement that the volunteer fire department signed with a Houston area company to bill for their services. Through the Concerned Citizens website, CLCTaxpayers.com, Produce 7 obtained a bill for over $7,000 that they say is fraudulent because they billed for trucks that were not at the scene and for foam that was provided by another fire department. The website touches on numerous other issues that mostly pertain to improper management of money. And many citizens continue to be angry. If I was spending your money, wouldn't you want to know where it was going? Wouldn't you want a receipt to prove that I spent it where you where I said I spent it. Jimmy Wilmot's lawyer, Kyle Miller, in a statement to the press says that his client did not have a fair chance at signing a contract with the city. He says negotiations at gunpoint are seldom fair. Mr. Miller also says that the city's new fire team might be completely incapable of responding to a fire due to their antiquated equipment. Responding to this allegation, the city provided this video of the pumper working today that speaks for itself. The mayor says that the new volunteer fire department will never charge for services. The town is awaiting the results of the district attorney's investigation of these allegations, although this is not the first time he has received documentation in this case.